Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna build a portable case for my locator. Um, I'll drop in the description everything we use for this video, but let's quickly go over what we will be using. First, I have a Scotty track, and I have a Scotty transducer mount. I have my Hummingbird Helix 5, and that is mounted on a Yak Attack uh, mount. I have stainless steel hardware, I have a hole cover, I have a Phillips screwdriver, 10, 10 millimeter socket, of course the power cord for the locator. I have a cordless drill and on there I have the bits, I have a 5 uh, 3 16 and then also a 31 64th. Um, also of course I have a plastic ammo case and then this will be powered by a 8 amp hour uh, lithium battery that we got off of Amazon. So uh, now I'm gonna take you step by step of what we need to do. Okay, so the first step, we're gonna take our track and uh, we're gonna figure out where we want it. And uh, I've been messing around, I kind of figured out ahead of time where I wanna put this. And uh, so once you figure out on your box where you wanna put it, then what we're gonna do, we're gonna drill a hole so that we can put our first set of bolts in and then uh, go from there. So you take the 3 16 uh, bit and uh, you just wanna go ahead and uh, drill that hole and then uh, just go ahead, drop one of your 10 30 second bolts into the hole there and just hold it in place and then make sure you got it nice and straight, hold it down, go ahead and put a Another hole in there, drop another bolt, and then you just want to go ahead, hold it again, rinse and repeat, and you do that for the eight holes. There we go. So now that we got it kind of locked down in the corners, we can drill the rest of the holes, put the uh, put the bolts in and then attach them from the other side. Okay, so that's done. Go ahead and I'll take these bolts. We'll get them put in. Make sure you clean out your, your debris there. Clean that one up a little bit. Okay, so now what I have here is uh, I got some size 10 washers with some uh, size 10, number 10 uh, lock washers also. Now we're just gonna put them on. And we're just gonna hand tighten them for now, and then we'll go back with the, uh, the socket and the uh, Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so now that we have the bolts through there, the washers, lock washers, and the nuts on, I'll just go ahead, take the Phillips screwdriver and the 10 millimeter socket, and we'll tighten these up. Now we have our track on there, and what we can go ahead and do is take the uh, track portion mount of the Yak Attack and go ahead and put it on here. Then just tighten that down. And now you'll be able to mount your locator unit and then take your Scotty mount that has your transducer and everything already on it and just slide it in there. And 
tighten that down also. And there you go. So you have this. So now what we need to do is run the cords into the box. So after you get that all, all set up, you're going to want to switch over to the 3164th drill bit and you want to figure out where you want to run your cords. So on this box, it kind of has a lip on it. So I'm going to take that cover and basically just going to match it up with that 90 degree corner that they have there. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to drill I'm going to drill a hole and uh, at this point you can go ahead and take the, uh, the mounts back off just so they're not in your way. Uh, the nice thing about the Yak Attack, you could just clip it and it comes right off. But uh, you want to go ahead and lift it up and for the, uh, for the transducer cord, we're going to actually want to run it. Uh, through that hole twice just so uh, so the the remaining bit of the cord will stay inside the box so it's not hanging out uh, and getting in getting in the way so now the hole uh, you're gonna want to just ream it out a little bit okay so once you get it uh, that hole drilled and reamed out so it'll fit through. Uh, just go ahead, feed it through, and just go ahead and pull all of that slack through. And what we'll do later is we'll take uh, some wire uh, ties here and uh, get it all cleaned up. But uh, And now, just feed that right back through. And this way you can hook it up to your locator and uh, and like I said, we'll get the, we'll get all of this wire cleaned up uh, when we're done. Make it nice and neat. Um, and now at the same time, you could go ahead and run your power cable through there. So, go ahead and move that out of the way. And so now you got all your excess cord in here. Straighten it out. Your power cord. So now you can go ahead, put your transducer mount back in there. Nice and tight. And there we go. And now, we just want to move these out of the way. Then you'll take your cover. A little tight. You go ahead and attach this to the box. Okay, so now you can, uh, now that you got everything sitting where you need it, you can uh, go ahead and uh, put on your uh, 564th drill bit. Um, and uh, I always like to just pre drill the holes. It'll make everything a little easier. And uh, and we just got the screws here. Take your Phillips screwdriver. Just go ahead, tighten that down. And 
and do the next one. And there you go, you got it. Your, your cords are nice and secure. They can attach right to the, the locator. And uh, we'll do that uh, here in the next step. So yeah, so now that you got this tightened down, you can go ahead and put, uh, reattach your locator. And attach all your, your power cord, your transducer cord. And what's nice is you can just pull some of that extra out if you need more room, more cord. And now that you got everything attached, you're pretty much good to go. You just have to uh, hook up your power source. And uh, what I've gone ahead and done is uh, in here, I've just taken some Velcro straps and uh, tidied up the transducer cord. Um, and then what else I'm gonna do, I don't have it, uh, I don't have it yet, but uh, I'm gonna put some foam in here, uh, like a foam block or whatnot, to uh, keep the battery from moving around. But uh, you just go ahead and attach the power. And what's nice about the Scotty mount is uh, it's adjustable. So depending on where you're using it, you can just undo a couple of, couple of nuts there and uh, adjust your cord as you need and it's this will move up and down uh, depending on how far you have to go uh, but uh, but that's it we've used everything that I've I've had laying around the house uh, but uh, there you go you put it in a boat or you know use it uh, if you want to take it out ice fishing, um, I guess, you know, the options are endless. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, give it a subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you next time.